One of the biggest conspiracies that happened in 2018 involved the commentary community as well as YouTube as a whole. And this is one conspiracy that Shane Dawson won't even touch. And what we're talking about today is better help. Warning, what you are about to watch may make you question everything you thought you knew. Viewer discretion is advised. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, and before we get started, before we get started, if you have not watched the video that I made last week about Angelica Oles, the commentary community, as well as crowd psychology, turn this video off. Pause it, come back to it. I'm gonna link that video up in the info card, down in the description, and down in the pinned comments. You need to watch that video and understand what happened with this whole quote unquote scandal before you understand what I'm talking about in this video right here, all right? But for those of you who were on YouTube, uh, watching YouTube, like in 2018, you, you obviously know what I'm talking about. There was this huge BetterHelp scandal. And the reason why I'm using air quotes is because this was absolutely ridiculous. This was ridiculous. As somebody who's been a fan of like, you know, crime shows and like real life crime, like the, the ridiculous conspiracy going around about BetterHelp online therapy would never, ever in a million years hold up in court. And that might be the reason why none of this ever went to court because it was absolutely ridiculous. So those of you who don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is an online therapy platform, all right? Tons and tons and tons of creators were promoting it, including myself. And then this pretty much all started to my knowledge with the channel Memeology 101. He saw that a bunch of creators were promoting better help, saying they were depressed, and he started doing some digging, all right? And this blew up. Every commentator channel on earth started covering that BetterHelp was some sort of scam, all right? Even some of the biggest creators on the platform, like Boogie2988, as well as Philip DeFranco, ended their partnership with BetterHelp because of everything going on. And Philip DeFranco actually had a closer relationship with BetterHelp because not only was he promoting it, but he was helping link BetterHelp up with creators to promote the service even more. All right, but I'm gonna come back to Boogie2988 as well as Philip DeFranco a little bit later. But as this was all going on, I was watching so many commentary channels try to use the most ridiculous, weak evidence to talk about how BetterHelp is a scam. Not only random commentary channels, but you even had Keemstar. Keemstar, this guy with millions of subscribers on Drama Alert, calling this thing a scam and then going and ranting on and on other podcasts with absolutely no strong evidence. Like commentary channels were reaching so much. There came a point, there came a point, and if you miss this, like let me explain how ridiculous this got. There came a point where people were making entire videos trying to link the YouTube creator Katie Morton to potentially owning part of better help. And they were using some of the most ridiculous ridiculous theories like I don't understand how people weren't watching these videos and saying oh my god this is a reach all right like this reach went so far that your hand would go off the edge of the flat earth that's how far that reach went one of the main reasons this entire conspiracy was so ridiculous was because everybody was pointing to the terms of service all right the loosely worded terms of service, okay? This was the smoking gun that all of the commentary channels thought they had against better help with some terms of service. Like, sit back and ask yourself real quick, all right? If we went through every company's terms of service and used that as a gauge of whether or not we weren't gonna use that company, you probably wouldn't use a single app on your freaking smartphone. And like, let's look, let's, let's just compare this to some other stuff that's been going on in the YouTube community, all right? Okay, so you have better help on one end where people are pointing to a loosely worded terms of service, but then you have Kenza Cosmetics, okay? Where the evidence was there. The evidence was there that people were not receiving their products. Not only was that there, but people were not 
receiving products that were of an $80 value, okay? For some people, the $10 shipping cost was not just $10, all right? There was proof, there was evidence, there was people freaking about it out about it online, all right? Then, let's look at the most recent one with Rice Gum and Jake Paul, the whole mystery brand thing, okay? Not only was this promoting gambling to children, but they were trying to convince people that by buying their ridiculous mystery boxes, you might get a mansion worth $250 million, all right? But then you have BetterHelp over here, which blew up bigger than anything else because of the way a terms of service was worded. Not only is that ridiculous, but, but in November of 2018, just to appease some people, BetterHelp went back and reworded their terms of service, and here's what they said. Today, we are happy to share with you the new terms and conditions and privacy policy for BetterHelp. Instead of pa patching and fixing, we decided to take this opportunity to completely rewrite them. We wanted to make sure they don't just please lawyers, but also resonate with everyone. To clarify, nothing has changed in the way we do things. We continue to go above and beyond what's required by laws, regulations, and industry standards, as we always have. We continue to take extensive measures to ensure that all the counselors on the platform are credentialed and licensed, as we always have. Basically what they're saying is, they only reworded these things for you, all right? One of the reasons that I have backed BetterHelp this entire time is because of all the people who were A, promoting it, or B, B, trying to discredit it, I am one of the only people on this platform who has actually worked in the mental health field aside from Katie Morton. What they worded in their terms of service is nothing. It's like, you guys, I was working at a drug and alcohol treatment center for over three years where people would come into the facility drunk and high and sign stacks of papers this thick, okay? While under the influence, signing papers that thick no clue what they were signing, all right? But it was a very credible facility, I do wanna make that clear. But I'm just trying to get this point across to you, okay? There were things in there like, hey, if like the blanket that you brought here gets stolen, we're not responsible for it, okay? So just to make that perfectly clear, not only that, but my girlfriend Tristan uses the service. Some of my best friends use this service. I personally use the service. And we are people who look into these therapists. I am currently working with a therapist who is licensed here in the state of Nevada and she is amazing, all right? The other reason that I'm so passionate about this is because I'm trying to make sure that people get help. Yes, I am an affiliate of BetterHelp. So when people sign up through my BetterHelp affiliate link, I get a little bit in return, all right? But I am trying to provide people with a resource that they can get help with. And I have heard some of the most crazy mental health stories, all right? Did you know that right now in Florida, and this has been going on for years, there are shady drug treatment centers that are purposely getting people high, making them relapse on drugs, just so they can check them back into their crappy rehab and milk the insurance money, all right? People are going to jail for this, but the commentary community here on YouTube wanted to go after BetterHelp because of some terms of service. Don't you think if BetterHelp was a scam, they would have a terrible rating at the BBB, which is the Better Business Bureau? Well, that's not the case. What you're seeing right here on the screen is that BetterHelp has an A plus rating with an average of four and a half stars. Don't you think if this was a scam, that rating would be a little bit lower? Don't you think if BetterHelp was a scam, you couldn't even go anywhere on YouTube with tons and tons and tons of people who had used the service talking about how they had been scammed, how they were working with somebody who wasn't even really a therapist? Don't you think everybody would try to get their 15 minutes of fame by talking about this? No, that's not, a, not the case. And here's the other thing, I'm actually making another video about this at a later point in time, but every time I get a comment on my channel saying, isn't BetterHelp a scam? I ask the person if they use this service. 100% of the time, I've asked hundreds of people and all of them, all of them say no, okay? Well, some others do something else, but that's for the next video, all right? But don't you think, 
Don't you think if BetterHelp was a scam with millions and millions and millions and millions of people hearing about this scam, don't you think all of the influencers on the platform who are promoting this service would be getting flooded by being tagged in tweets or getting DMs, right? Because the influencers were scamming their audience. Don't believe me? Look what happened to Gabby Hanna with Kenza Cosmetics. It was publicly known that her fans were reaching out to her talking about how they felt betrayed. When was the last time you heard somebody say that about an influencer because they signed up for better help? Don't worry, I'll wait. Like, come on people, like, it bugs me so, so much because it just seems like people aren't using logic. Like what I talked about in the Angelica O's video, like just because a lot of people are saying it does not mean it's true. And this is what breaks my heart about people like Boogie2988 and Philip DeFranco. These people with such influence, such massive amounts of influences, cut off their ties with better help because of a ridiculous conspiracy theory. That is absolutely bonkers. Not only were both Boogie and Philip DeFranco using the service, but Philip DeFranco had friends and family members using the service without a problem, but he did it ex like exclusively for PR reasons, and that absolutely sucks. Now people aren't getting help because of this, all right? Yes, I know that there are therapists in your area, but here's something that people don't understand, all right? Like, do you know how many people are agoraphobic? Do you know how many people have the type of anxiety where it's not as easy for them to talk in person to somebody? Do you know that there are some people who have to drive an hour or two hours to their nearest therapist? Better help and online therapy platforms like it give people an opportunity to get therapy when they couldn't before. I could literally just pick apart a ton of different commentary videos that were thrashing BetterHelp with no good evidence, but I'm not going to in this video. So here's what I suggest, all right? I would like to call out my buddy, iNabber. Fraser, actually he's not really a buddy, he's more of an acquaintance. Actually, Fraser, if you watch this, I consider you a friend, if you're my friend. Anyways, I would like him to interview me. He did a phenomenal job with Gabby Hanna, and I know, I know for a fact, he will ask me anything and have no problem asking me. He was one of the people who actually covered better help. So if you would like iNabber to interview me about this topic, go ahead and tweet at him, all right, and leave your comments down below. I have no problem answering anything about this service. While I will not answer for other YouTubers, I will answer any questions as it relates to BetterHelp, how it works to my knowledge, because I'm not a representative of BetterHelp, but I will also explain why some of the things work the way they do because I have worked in the mental health field, all right? So if you would like iNabber to interview me, go ahead and let him know, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down, that's cool. If you wanna come to a channel where I talk about mental health and try to help people out and provide people with legitimate resources, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody who's supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing, and I will see you next time.